It has been a season largely defined by the unranked beating the ranked. Might that happen again today? Kansas State welcomes number 11 Baylor on senior day. And if the Wildcats, if they can pull off the upset, it will likely be because of a big day from their six-year senior quarterback, Skyler Thompson, taking his longtime home field for the final emotional time. And the punt team comes on that penalty before the first snap slowing them down. Isaac Power kicks it away. And Brooks mocked, picked up by Baylor. Baylor recovers. It was a dream start for Chris Kleiman. You see Philip Brooks just take a peek. Got to keep your elbows together on that basket. It just went right between the wickets. Was touched by the receiving team and recovered by Baylor. for Sims in this area. On the ground. Abner cuts upfield. Tristan Ebner. High steps into the end zone. Baylor capitalizes on the muff punt. And they strike first. This great vision, great cutback. He starts his path to kind of that ghost tight end area. Sees the opening, puts his right foot on the ground. Cuts it back. Touchdown Bears. And you said it best. Taking advantage. Cutting behind Big Grant Miller, 63. First and goal from the two. They go to the eye. Play action. Bohannon back of the end zone. And a touchdown for Baylor. Drake Dabney's second catch of the drive. And it's good for six. Load pass is a million different things you call it. A dude in the flat and a dude running to the corner. And he... Spots Dabney puts it in ideal location. That right foot in looked like he had control. A linebacker turned fullback Dylan Doyle celebrating with him. So Skyler Thompson back on the field. And he's got a big hole for Bond. High step it into Baylor territory. And you can kiss Deuce Bond goodbye. They have a penalty than we originally thought. <laughs> no doubt we wanted if they answer. Deuce says, let's dial this long distance. Great job on the backside by 87. Nick Lenners cutting off the backside. Deuce Vaughn does the rest and doesn't reach the ball. Great veteran move there. Hugs the ball. Worst thing you can do there is fumble out of the back of the end zone. Don't reach the ball. Celebrate that touchdown, though. Yeah, it's his one and only year of the program. And my goodness, he's seen me to rock of the Wildcats. Bohannon, first down run. Inside K-State territory. Bohannon. Boy, he is down and upset, grabbing his right leg. Oh, he is clearly in pain. Yeah, it looked like when he broke contain, obviously kind of grabbing that hamstring. Don't want to see that of a guy who's played, been the heart and soul of this team. Zone read, definitely the right thing to pull it just right there as he starts to try to uncork his speed. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, he is in pain. Blake Shapin is his backup. Shapin has attempted just three passes this year. Cool night here in Manhattan. And Bohannon is still down. Hankins from 28 yards out. The lefty is up and through. This brings up the true freshman kicker, Chris Tennant. He missed last week from 25. This is from 28. And he was good from 28 yards out. He did 11, picked up 15. First and 10 now, under four and a half to play. Thompson steps out of an ankle tackle and just pushes it forward to get some positive yardage out of it. They drew that up in the backyard. And Thompson is down again. That's the second time we've seen the unconventional right there. Basically turns into a shovel pass. And this guy is going to need a minute here. Both starting quarterbacks have been injured in this one. Hopefully Thompson will not be as serious as... 
his counterpart, Bohannon, who has had to exit the game. It's just so good, heady by him to step up the awareness before Maxwell gets him to the ground to find Vaughn. Instead of Will Howard. Lewis to pass. And it is intercepted. Lewis's first attempt of the night right in the hands of the Baylor Bears. Been dominated in uh, more than just recent years by the Buckeyes. As Skyler Thompson comes out of the tents and makes his way to the cart. And Mark, as you said a few moments ago, this is not the way that the six-year senior envisioned his final night on his longtime home field ending. Had a big night once again. Well over 150 yards of total offense and a score, but not enough. It was mostly Vaughn, and that was it for K-State. College Football Extra presented by Crypto.com is coming up next as number 11 Baylor. They keep their hopes alive of making it to Arlington for the Big 12 championship game. They win their fourth straight over the Wildcats, which ties the longest series win streak in history between these two programs.